Welcome back to the channel and it is early and we are in the tech garage and today I'm excited because we're going to be doing a little bit of adventure something different always a risk always a chance always opportunity but I figured let's give it a shot so I need a new CPU AMD just released their new 9 5900X and 5950 and all the other variants of it and you can't get one right now they're hard to get all sold out out of stock who knows when they're going to come back and I definitely need a CPU definitely want to get something faster got some other builds planned with my old 8700k would definitely like to do a review and comparison so uh looking around on facebook found this so found me a amd ryzen 9 5900x brand new in the box yada yada all that good stuff he's wanted 650 dollars. so i shot him a message talked to him last night and he's pretty much got himself a 5950x and he's just wanting to let this one go or or return it so I talked him down to 580 and he agreed to take this for 580 and if I come pick it up at 9 o'clock in the morning or 930 between 9 and 930 before he goes to work he'll let me have it for 580 if I can't make it then he's gonna sell it for 650 so we're gonna have to drive about an hour from where I live pop in the tech truck and go ahead and get this CPU so hopefully this works out good hopefully we don't get scammed and hopefully I just don't waste a bunch of money so let's go pop up in the truck and let's head on out. All right, tech truck full of gas, check. Got fuel for me, check. Got food check coordinates are in the gps check so we're ready to roll let's head on out and go pick up our cpu So we're about 39 minutes from where we're supposed to be to pick up the CPU. So I want to take this time while we're driving to actually talk about buying online. So people choose to buy on Facebook. They choose to buy on Letgo or whatever you have in your area or whatever you choose to use. So in this case, I chose Facebook. And I want to go over some of the pros and cons, things to be wary of, and things you really need to keep in mind when you do this. Uh, first off, when you buy online from the marketplace or any other type of social media platform, there's a huge inherent risk that you're gonna that you take, and that risk is that you're gonna get scammed. So now, I have a video in which I kind of did a parody of getting scammed, in which I pretended to buy a $800 quote unquote gaming computer from Facebook, and the gaming computer turned out to be complete junk, didn't work, and it was actually a 20-year-old computer that was just not even worthy of being called a gaming computer in today's standard so here's some things to keep in mind number one when I'm buying online from the Facebook marketplace and that's the primary one I use I am not a fan of let go or the other ones I like to use Facebook and the reason why I like to use Facebook is even though you can still get hacked and still get well not hacked you can still get kind of um, scammed with a dirty account from somebody most of the accounts are set up and they are distinguished. Uh, you, a lot of people are gonna post pictures on there. Um, some people have their open profiles, which allows you to get an idea of who you're buying from. Um, you can see that it is a real person and it's just not somebody that kind of made it up. Not to say that's the truth in every case, but that kind of gives me a little more comfort. So that's one thing I look for is their profile. Uh, number two. Facebook has the rating where you can rate the buyer and seller. Um, anytime I buy from some, uh, anybody, I always give them a good five-star rating. As long as they're on time, the price was fair, and they didn't try to get over on me, I give them a great rating, and I always ask them if they could give me a good rating as a seller or a buyer. So by checking the seller's rating, it kind of gives you an idea that this is a person that has commonly sold and bought on that marketplace so you're not dealing with somebody you know first-time buyers not to say that you should stay away from first-time buyers because I mean you got to build up your profile somehow but I tend to lean more towards uh, reputable sellers also a lot of the groups that you browse on 
some people will bash these sellers and tell you which ones are scam artists, which ones got over, and yada yada. So, something to keep in mind. Uh, number two, the item you're buying. You take an inherent risk with that as well. You take the risk in that I'm going to buy a CPU, and the CPU is going to cost $580. I could take a chance that it's sealed. Anybody could reseal the box. It's perfect looking. Um, I buy it and I take it home and it's a box full of rocks. Yeah. I've actually seen and heard horror stories from that. Uh, people who sell iPhones or anything like that. You get online, you buy it, you take it home or whatever, or you right there in front of the seller, you open it up, you give them the money and it's a box full of rocks, Play-Doh, toys, gummy bears. I mean, I've, I've seen it all. I've seen it all and by the time you open it up the seller takes off running you're done so that's something also to keep in mind that you could be buying something that's not what it is you know I could be going to buy a Ryzen 9 5900X right now and it's probably a Ryzen well, what 1400 AF or whatever the low end Ryzen um, first gen could be so that's something to keep in mind too now the next thing to keep in mind is the location I am very picky on where I meet people and this is something that you need to understand and something that you need to consider when you're meeting up with these sellers. Where are you going to meet them? This seller, the reason why I agreed to meet with him is that in his listing, he stated that he will only meet at the local police department where we're going and that's in Fuquay, North Carolina. He will only meet there and Fuquay, they actually have a place where they have the sellers meet and they do their transactions, buyer, seller, stuff like that. And they have cameras. It records the seller. So if he does scam me or if I did scam him, let's just say that because you, you also have buyers that scam sellers. I'm on camera. Next thing you know, you're on Crime Stoppers, America's Most Wanted, and you're posted all over the place and somebody's going to identify you. There's a good chance. And then that person will be charged by the local authorities and then, you know, it goes from there. So that's a great thing to keep in mind when you're dealing with these buyers and sellers. Where are you going to meet them? I'm big on meeting at local police departments. When I sell, I typically like to meet at the police department. When I buy, I like to meet at the police department. So this seller right over here, he stated he will only meet at the police department. So that tells me that he's not afraid to be seen. He's not afraid to be put on camera. He's not afraid to be caught on cops. That means that he doesn't have really anything to hide. And considering that this is an expensive transaction, yeah, he wants that safety and peace of mind that I ain't giving him uh, counterfeit money. And vice versa, I don't want to go home and find out that I just bought a Ryzen 1400 for, you know, almost $600. So that's actually pretty legit and sweet to consider. So these are the things that you need to really think about when you're buying online. This case, like I talked about in the beginning of the video, he upgraded to a new CPU. And he's stated that, you know, I'm going to try to see if I can recoup my money or sell it, break even before I return it. So he just wants to get what he paid. The Ryzen 9 5900X is going for $549. When I look at um, shipping and taxes, it comes out to about $585, $590. So, yeah, $580, $600 is not a bad price. Well, I'm paying $5, $10 extra and I'm able at least to get it now. AMD will still give you the warranty because you have the CPU. And number one, I'm not big on the game, so big deal, I don't get the Far Cry 6 uh, redemption code on that. I really didn't care for the Far Cry series personally. Um, I have Far Cry 5, I played an hour of it, eh, wasn't my thing. So, And mostly, I need the CPU just for video editing and I want to get a new computer rig up and going. I've already bought the case and all that stuff, so I definitely uh, want to get a new computer going uh, for that fact. And um, I'm running my i7-8700K, it's served me well for the past three years and I want to upgrade to something better and it's actually going to help with the video editing so I am definitely excited to get this CPU I am going to have to when I get home order the motherboard and the memory I haven't ordered that yet because I wasn't planning on getting a uh, Ryzen 9 anytime soon so a lot of work still to be done to get my new build going but at least we'll have it the unfortunate thing is is that once I buy this I don't have a means to test it so yeah, there's still that variable up in the air. I don't have a uh, B550, 450, or whatever. I don't have a motherboard to test it. So I am going to have to wait a couple of days for that. So fingers crossed and prayerfully that um, everything goes well with the CPU transaction. And at least along the ways, um, we get to document it, do a cool video on it. Hopefully you guys get to uh, give me your comments and your experience of what you've thought and what you think. And uh, yeah, am I just dumb and stupid for going out and buying this from a complete stranger? But you know what? That's the chance you take. 
welcome to video vlogging so all right so we're gonna continue on this journey we got about another 32 minutes to go and I'll keep turn the camera back on once we get there and we'll talk about how our transaction goes So we have arrived and we are at the Fuquay Verena Police Department. And the cool thing I like about this is, let me get out and show it over here real quick, is that this is a safe exchange zone. I don't know if that sign comes out or I'm even getting it. It's the safe exchange zone and it's reserved for child custody, private property, and e-commerce transaction, 24 hour video surveillance. So yeah, when you're buying, when you're making any type of transaction like this, you wanna make sure that you have a safe area that you can be recorded, it's monitored, and yeah, keeps you from, well, reduces the risk of you getting scammed. So um, I'm gonna contact the seller, shoot him a text message, we'll meet, and hopefully we get the CPU and everything goes well. So we'll be right back as soon as we're done with this. She's safe, so yeah, CPU is safe, and that's all that matters. All right, so like I said, I don't know if this is gonna be part one or part two. Uh, maybe part one, part two, or maybe part two will be when I get it and we test it out. So if not, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this experience. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're not. Hit the notification bell, and we'll see what we come up with next. Hopefully, it's a CPU that works.